Hi guys, Barbara Beckman here. Today I'm working on these two little penguins um, shaker card that I made from scratch. Um, I just cut a piece of regular cardstock. I think it was like four and a half by seven. And what I'm doing now is just taping it down. I'm working on the background of the card. And I'm taking just regular makeup sponges from the dollar store and I'm using some distress inks and I'm starting at the top with like a turquoise and just pouncing back and forth just like you would like uh, stenciling just going back and forth randomly um, no real pattern to this just placing color down and I did that with every color here so there's like a turquoise and there's like a sky blue and then on the bottom there'd be like a purple color um, the sponges I use are inexpensive. They're a dollar for like, I don't know, 30. And um, I just cut them with the scissor, the tips off of them when I'm done. So I have fresh new ones um, every time I use them. So I spritzed it with some water here and just trying to get the colors to run a little bit. It's distressing, so um, they're kind of cool. When, once they dry and you add like water droplets to it, and then you blot them up with the paper towel, which I'm about to do. It causes some kind of cool effects in the background. So I'm just splashing some water droplets on it now. And I just let it sit there for a little while. It's almost like the water takes up some of that pigment. And I just wanted it to be very uneven in the background there. Um, I dried it with the heat gun. And then I applied some um, first mark. Um, just regular like sticky uh, it's not ink I don't know it's like a sticky material um, and I embossed it with clear embossing powder um, very generous amount use the whole bottle and poured it back in uh, I just wanted to melt that with my heat gun to get it nice and shimmery so this will be the background of my card my shaker card where the snowmen will be sitting um, it melts pretty quickly. I use the Hero Arts one. Um, I always use little tweezer too because it's pretty hot. You'll burn your hands on it for sure. So it melts um, nicely together and you can see there's some droplets from where I added the water to. Um, I like it very uneven and um, definitely not perfect for sure. So I just play around with it basically melting all of it together. And I like the way it came out. It was very shiny in the background. Um, wanted to give the appearance of snow or wet. So that's why I did it that way. So now what I'm doing is, uh, it's a brand new stamp set. Um, and I'm just going to take the two little penguins and stamp them out here. And then I'm going to color them in. Uh, that's VersaFine Black Onyx Ink. It just gives a nice crisp line when you're stamping. So I like to use that ink quite often. So I just place them down randomly and they dry pretty quickly. And then I'll go in with my Prismacolor colored pencils and give them some color. Now um, I will be cutting them out with a die cut. Uh, which comes in with the stamp set. So I really didn't need to be that specific about coloring and staying in the lines. So after I tried to line up the die cut with the image, I realized I needed to color some more around those um, little arms or wings to um, be able to have no, no white showing. So just before I cut it out, I went back in and added a little bit more black. The Prismacolors are good for this. You can shade it um, pretty easily. I just kept with pretty solid colors on this one. And I left the white bellies white. And I added just a little like a grayish blue highlight underneath um, like the beak and around the belly. So I just continued to fill them in here. And uh, I used all Prismacolors. I like them because they're nice and creamy and they, they blend well together. Um, I've been using Prismacolors for many years. I just like them 
overall more than any other color pencil that I use. The only thing I don't like about them is uh, they break sometimes while sharpening, even though there's like videos out and specific ways to actually sharpen these things by turning the sharpener and not your hand or the pencil. Uh, it still doesn't work for me. I break them quite often. So I'm always replacing one pencil at a time. So here I am um, with my die cut machine by Sizzix. This is a big shot and I love this machine. It's just, uh, it's pretty light. It's just, it's I don't think it's the newest machine, but it's not like the oldest, the first one's out for sure. Um, it just works very, very well. I use this a lot. So here I am realizing that if I cut it, that some of the black um, needed to be extended around the legs there because some white would be showing. So I just went quickly and made it a little larger. It just took a second. So I lined it up and then I just used some painter's tape um, to hold it in place and ran it through so it cut it out. I did the same exact thing with the next uh, little penguin here. Again, it was just basically around the feet and around the wings that I realized if I cut it out it would have some white to it. So I just quickly went around them. This is a great um, little machine if you uh, ever have a chance to get one. They're, sometimes they're on sale. Um, you can get a good deal on them. So my background here is dry and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place them. Um, <clears throat> I ended up stamping some snowflakes. They, I made them in white. They came in with the stamp set. So I wanted to look like the background had a lot of snow falling down. So I just randomly placed the three of them on my block and uh, just started stamping randomly all over the place. Even on top of each other. It didn't matter to me. I just wanted to make some coverage in there. So once I figured out where I was going to place them um, off camera what I did was I cut out with a die, the same die cut machine from blue cardstock the actual opening to my shaker um, and I forgot to film it because I was rushing and uh, so it's not on camera but that's what I did after I, I did this So I just stamped um, Warm Wishes. It also came in with the set. And then I just cut a little like V-shape at the end to make it look like a banner. Very simple. Just a nice uh, sentiment to add up there. Nothing fancy. Just on white cardstock. So here I cut the uh, the opening out already and I'm just using a piece of um, acetate that I had laying around. And what I love about this is if it gets any marks on it, you can just wipe it off with a towel and it comes right off. It cleans up pretty well. So there was something on it and I ended up cleaning it. Um, so here I am just gluing it down. I, I think I used Tombow glue, all-purpose glue or something like that. And really any glue works pretty well here. So that's just my start of my window. And then what I did was I took some foam and I cut strips of it out. Um, and I cut them and I, I glued them on to around the piece of the uh, window. So this gave me like a place where I could fill up the window with different snowflakes and goodies that would be shaking around in there. So I just cut them to size quickly. Um, I just hold things up, measure 
by eye. I don't really use any rollers or anything like that. It just takes too long, I find it that way. So if you can eyeball it and just um, you can kind of see how I'm doing it, I just mark it with my my X-Acto knife. So I place those down and I just am careful not to leave like a big gap. Uh, so none of the, um, the little sequins or stones or anything I throw in there can come out. They're going to stay pretty well in there. So here are the sequins and little doodads, sparkly thingies, whatever they're called, that I picked out that are going to go inside my shaker card. And I'm just using this foam tape to adhere the penguins to the, um, the embossed background that I made with that turquoise blue and purple with the snowflakes on it. So I just figure out where I'm going to place them. Um, where they might look good. Make sure they're inside that window at all times. So that's why I keep referring back to them. So I just stuck them in quickly. And then I was able to add, these had like bigger snowflakes in them and some larger sequins. So I just used the Tombow glue again and randomly glued a couple snowflakes and sequins throughout. They are very um, shimmery, and every time I look at them, you see a different color in it. I see a lot of purples. I don't know if it's picking up the colors from the card or if they come that way, but they have a lot of colors in them. It's like one of those things that you can see, like rainbows almost in them, or like gasoline would look, you know, on water. You see that, like, kind of shiny, shimmery, colory. So I just dumped a whole bunch of shimmery things from these jars onto here just to make it look um, like it was full and had a lot of stuff in it. And they're all sparkly and shiny. And then what I did was I just glue it down, I, the, um, the window down on top of all those things there to secure them in. And I used a couple weights to hold it in place. It, it dried pretty quickly. It only took about five minutes. So when I came back, I used the foam again, same foam that I used to create the little pocket. And what I did was, there's a blue strip on the bottom there that I'm going to add uh, like one inch strips of this foam to all across the bottom. Um, and that's just going to allow it not to cave in. It's going to make it the same height as the, the top part of the card. So using the Tombow glue again, I glued down these pieces. I just went across, so it's probably like five of them. And I decided to tie some baker's twine in blue and white around the card. I thought it would just give it some interest. And I didn't even tie it in a bow. I just tied it in a knot and cut it. So after I decided where I was going to place it, I decided to put my little banner on. I also decided to take out a couple of the snowflakes that I used inside the card and mount some on the outside. I thought that was kind of a neat little touch. So I didn't overdo it. I kept it pretty simple. Um, I just placed two snowflakes, three snowflakes. I kind of like to do things in odd numbers. And three little sequins there as well. And then I also added some of the mounting tape um, very quickly to the back of that little banner tag that I made. I love this stuff because it's pretty strong and it's quick to use. And it lasts a while. It really does a lot of projects. I get like a roll of it. Um, and it's, it seems to last. 
So that's it. I put the card together and now I have the back is all the same height so it's not going to be different levels on my card. And again I'm using the mounting tape and I'm just going to go across it because it's very sticky. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it onto um, a pre-made white card. And that's pretty much it. You just line it up carefully. And that's it. It's blank inside. And on the back, though, I did put um, a stamp that said handcrafted or something like that. And I signed it. So I sell these at my fairs. So when people buy these, they know that the whole thing's been handcrafted. And I usually do a bunch of them at one time. I don't just do one at a time like this. Like I'll do um. I'll cut out a lot of snowmen or, or penguins rather, and I'll make 15, 20 cards of the same card. So there it is. Uh, looks like somebody's texting me, <laughs> trying to find me. Um, so these fit nicely into these these little plastic bags that I use that I buy from clearbags.com. Um, they fit perfectly in and keep them nice and safe for my fairs. So I'm working on some some snow and wintry scenes right now for the upcoming fairs in November, December. And I hope you like my video. If you like it, please give me the thumbs up and please subscribe. Until next time, bye.